Previously on the Big Red Show. It's Girl Scout cookies. You got Thin Mints, Venture Fuels, Brownie Caramel Things, Samoas, more Thin Mints. YouTube fam, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Big Red Show. Listen, before we do anything, make sure you do the thing, okay? And by the thing, I mean subscribe to the channel so that we don't miss anything that's going on. Please and thank you. I love you. And let's get on with the show. Now, before we get into anything this week, folks, Fernando's on his way over right now. Okay, we are going to record this week's episode of the Red Hair Don't Care podcast. If you're not already, we have a YouTube link. It's down below. All right, check us out. Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, you name it. Every platform, we're on it. Follow us on Instagram at Red Hair Don't Care podcast. It would be greatly appreciated. Fernando and myself sit down every week. We talk sports. We talk social stuff. Anything that comes to our minds, we talk about pretty much, so... Would really mean mean a lot if you guys would check us out and uh, spread the word, cause I think it's pretty good. Before we get involved in anything today, I got a bone to pick. That bone is being picked with YouTube. Now, last week I don't know what happened, but I uploaded a my video. The entire video was 26 minutes long. YouTube would only upload 16 minutes and 24 seconds of that video. Why? What's going on here, YouTube? We need to have a talk. I don't understand why. I did it three different times. Every time it did the same exact thing. So I have no idea what's actually going on. Now I'm hoping the same thing doesn't happen with this video today because if it does, I will be very, very upset. But for now, we're going to go eat some donuts. And uh, as you guys know, I love Doe Hut here down in Long Beach. It's probably my favorite donut ever. And I don't think anybody will ever come close to it. But they are closed for their little winter um, refurbishments and everything, so we're going elsewhere. Right now, we're on our way to Massapequa Park to check out Once Bitten Donuts, and I'm gonna do a little donut review for you guys. Cue the time lapse. All right, folks, we just pulled up to Once Bitten Donuts. Now, if you guys have seen in the past, all right, thank you very much for honking during my promo here. Uh, if you've seen in the past, I'm here because Kid Approved came and checked out this donut place and it looked absolutely phenomenal. Now, I had done a pizza review with Kid Approved and you never know, there might be more stuff coming in the pipeline. We'll just have to wait and see about that. But for now, we're gonna go eat some freaking donuts. Here at Once Bitten Donuts in Massapequa Park. As you just saw the selection, I could not decide, so I got six of them. Start by cutting them in half to. Baby, over here. 
Why am I cutting it in half? I don't know. Cause I'm gonna end up eating the whole thing anyway. So. What? You mean rude? Well, you can have some. But all right. So this is the classic. It's called the Homer. Pink frosted donut. Wow, that's good. The Homer. Might be a little biased on this one because pink frosted donut is my favorite, but what are you gonna do? Next one up is called cereal. Now, oh, make a mess up in here. This one, Fruity Pebbles Donut. You guys know in Doe Hut, my favorite donut is the Fruity Pebbles one. So, I'm thinking this one's gonna be pretty good. I'm not even gonna cut this one because I'm gonna eat the whole thing right now. Wow. It actually tastes like cereal and milk. Making a mess. Cereal is good. It is basically like a root canal in a donut, though. Very sweet, very sweet, but very good. I'll take it. Pretty killer cold bird, too. Next up, we'll do. I'm gonna do the brownie one next. Brownie one looks pretty good. This had some fancy name, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember it. What is it? Like C a, is for chocolate or? I think it's devil's food cake. Devil's food cake. Put the real name up. Yeah, I'll put the real name of this one below here. But I don't know the best way to attack this. I went right up my nose. Do I have a mess? Big mess. Oh my nose. Oh boy. Alright, well, you can try a bite of that one. We'll do that, huh? Huh? Yeah. Clean it up. Yeah, the chocolate level on that one is through the roof. And through my nose. Next up, cookies and cream. Also had a fancy name that I'll insert below. And uh, look at this guy. Not gonna lie, I don't think this could really suck. Cookies and cream, probably my favorite so far. A good one. Foreos. Oh, it's a big piece. Good. Yeah, Definitely good. Oreos. It probably better. holds together better than the Oreos do. Because those Oreos or Hydrox, whatever they are, still a solid crunch too. We're gonna find out and we'll put it down below, right here. Next up here, maple bacon. If you know me, you know I love bacon and pretty much can put maple syrup on anything even though I'm not a Canadian. Dive right into this guy. Oh wow, maple glaze, brown sugar, and bacon. It's a combo you can't beat. You like it? Frosting's good, the, the, the sugar on top is good. It doesn't taste like fake maple. Yeah. It's that real Canadian shit. It's a lot better than I thought it was. Me too. The bacon one was definitely better. Peace. Don't be salty caramel. We got potato chips, pretzels, caramel sauce on here. Here goes nothing. The biggest salted caramel fan, so. I could not believe the chips are actually crunchy. I did not expect that whatsoever. Yeah, that's a surprise. 
I knew that was going to be your favourite. Me too. Like, I don't know if I like this, but I was like, well, it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> the Homer is a good one. Yeah. I like the brownie one, but it's a lot. Yeah. Like Honestly, I think the Homer is my favorite. Not shocked. Right. You love a good classic. Pink Frosted with sprinkles? Like, you can't beat that. You guys know that. It's literally the logo. Pop up the logo right here. Editor. Thank you. It's funny because the editor is you. Don't tell them that. I can't be giving up all my secrets. This is only episode three of the Big Red Show. How I mean, are you going to give up all I my mean, secrets I'm like that? The omnipotent voice on the other end of the camera. Oh boy. Please do not listen to this random person that is at this table with me. I have no idea who she is. And she just looked lonely, so I let her eat donuts with me. Okay? So please just don't pay any attention to any of it through there. Saw her outside sitting on the street. She was looked hungry and needed like coffee or something. So I figured I'd invite her in to let her eat donuts and have coffee with me. And uh, now she's here. And now we're in love. Throwing sass at me. Great. That's all it takes is a donut. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, please pay no attention to that voice you hear this entire video. And uh, I'm gonna continue eating donuts. Internet. What type is this? I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but let me know. So the Oreos are pretty good. I think the homeless person I picked up found it. <laughs> She's reaching across taking stuff now. This is more just chocolate and donut here. This one's good, but that, the, the donut itself is very dense, which I like. And it's hella chocolatey, which I also like. Yeah, this would be a cool one if you're getting donuts like print dessert somewhere. This is a good one. Yeah. All in all, though, once bitten donuts, Mass Pukla. Very good selection. There was not a bad donut we picked. I think we picked a solid amount for everything, and I liked it. So, see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go in the car, I'll give you a review, full review in the car. Now I'm gonna bring to you guys my little honest review of Once Bitten Donuts in Massapequa Park. And uh, that review is that they are pretty freaking good. Very good. Every donut we had, and I apologize to the people at Once Bitten Donuts that I completely fumbled the names of them all. Just didn't write it down, I didn't look, whatever it was. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. I did put the correct donuts underneath each of them. So now, I have to say, my favorite, favorite, favorite donut from Once Bitten Donuts was really just the plain old strawberry frosted with sprinkles. Now, if you guys know me, and you know me pretty good by now, because I put everything out here, strawberry frosted, pink frosted with sprinkles is the easiest way to my heart. It really is. I love everything about it, and I don't think I've ever had one bad experience with one of those donuts and I think that's why I keep going back. So their pink frost it was number one on my list there that one is called the Homer. Okay the Homer was number one. Number two on my list I would have to say is the oh C is for cookies and cream. All right C is for cookies and cream was definitely number two on my list because it had the Oreos it had oh it was all good it was very good cookies and cream donut. Another one that you really like just you just can't go wrong with it. it was so good so that's number two for the three spot here this was probably the hardest decision I'll have to make it right now I will tell you is a toss-up between the are you cereal which was the fruity pebble one I said tasted like cereal and milk and the devil made me do it the devil made me do it was a dense chocolate donut with the brownies on top and it was sprinkled with the uh, was covered with chocolate and chocolate syrup and chocolate shavings and everything and it was 
Very good. So good I got it up my nose as you guys saw because that's the only way you could attack that thing. But oh man. Alright, number three. Number three, are you cereal? Are you cereal is number three on my list, followed up by number four is the devil made me do it. It has to be done. Just, I have a soft spot, okay, for, for Fruity Pebbles as well. Fruity Pebbles, I don't know why. You could put Fruity Pebbles on a steak, and I'll pay infinite amount of money for it. Number five on the list is the You're Baking Me Crazy for Maple. This one was the maple glazed with bacon bits on it, and it was, honestly, it was very very good for me however bacon and donuts and look bacon on anything is is very good and uh this donut was very good and i think that the issue for me is the issue that there it was too i don't want to say it was too much but i'm not a huge fan of bacon on sweets that being said, this donut was out of this world. I would probably eat it again. And I think that the the way it was made was actually perfect because the the bacon wasn't so wasn't very soft, it wasn't very crunchy, it was good right in the middle, covered in I think was brown sugar and that maple glaze on the donut. I'm not gonna lie, if they just put that maple glaze on the donuts plain i think would be an absolute killer donut as well and last but not least number six on my list of the six donuts that i got is the don't be so salty caramel this donut surprised me the most and i'll tell you why so this donut had potato chips on it it had pretzels on it and it had a salted caramel um uh, glaze on it as well I did not think that these chips and pretzels that were on the donut were going to be crunchy. They had a serious crunch to them. And that blew, blew away any expectation I had. Because I had seen this one and I was like, alright, it's going to be a potato chip on there. It's probably going to be a little soggy. It is what it is. It's what happens. No, this one was a crisp, crunchy potato chip, crunchy pretzels. Very, very impressed by this. Clearly not my favorite of the bunch. Uh, salted caramel is not really my jam, so I didn't really, you know, I, I don't really care for stuff, salted caramel. Um, that's just personal preference here. Me, the life of a 400-pound human being who uh, loves desserts and stuff. But I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised overall with how good these freaking donuts were. So that wraps up my list right there. Number one was the Homer. Uh, number two was Cookies and Cream. Number three, uh, what do I have? Are You Cereal? Number four was Devil Made Me Do It. Number five, You're Baking Me Crazy for Maple. And number six, the Don't Be So Salty at Caramel. One spitting donuts. You guys did it. You did the trick. And to Kid Approved out there, all right? I found you guys through Kid Approved. So Kid Approved nailed this review. Now, if you haven't seen their video on this, I'm gonna put a link to that video in the comments below. Make sure you go check out Kid Approved. Shoot them a follow, all right? I've done work with them in the past. I know them very well. And I think, I think, all right? There might be something coming soon. You'll just have to wait and see. Now that you've seen me eat all those donuts, now it's time to see me work off all those donuts.
clips of the workout from the week. After eating all those donuts, I had to get after it pretty hard, and uh, that's exactly what we did. That just about wraps up this week's episode of The Big Red Show. Got a little bit of both worlds in here. We got, we've got a little food review, a nice workout in there. If uh, I do say, though, if you guys are in Massapequa Park or anywhere near the area, go check out Once Bitten Donuts. It was very good. They have a crazy selection, like I said, and... I do not think you'll be upset. Thank you all for tuning in. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything that's going on around here. And uh, be sure to check out Kid Approved below. Check out the Red Hair Don't Care podcast as well. Fernando and I firing out episodes every week. So check that out. And uh, yeah, just make sure you're subscribed here. That's really the big deal. So I will see you next week. You got a lot to say about DraftKings today, all right? I forgot my sunglasses, so fuck you all. All right, you ready, Rock? I think so. Are we, are we good on the mics? Good. Good on the mic. Good. 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 Three. Wait, so now you press it. Press it now. Three, two, one.